Greetings, everyone. I'm Wet Hamster. And I'm Liquidy Poo. And we're here for the final, uh, final single player video. Final video. And, and this is the Switch Axe that I kept talking about, the best Switch Axe in the entire game. Well, it's not the best Switch Axe yet. But, but, it, it, it could be if I put some, if I slapped on some high rank parts onto it and, and made it really awesome. Because look at all that raw damage and that power file. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. It, it does. And it has a fuzzy beard. Yeah. It, it, it is a pretty great look to it. And I'm wearing Viking armor. Techno Viking armor. Um, I don't really like this armor because of blunt edge. I can't remove blunt edge without getting a sharpness plus one unless I have a talisman to get rid of it. And. For the life of me, I could never get a talisman. I tried to farm talismans for a while, but I just couldn't get any. Arg. So, I eventually had to go in here with Blunt Edge and my my usual setup, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, Blunt Edge is especially bad for a switch axe, so bad things are going to happen to this weapon's sharpness throughout the video, and that's going to screw me over. Uh, but, but it's switch axe. And, and it's really good. Oh, so good. But I got some earplugs in this armor, and that's really nice. And also I got the, the, the sharpness plus one. So this weapon does get like a sliver of blue, which doesn't mean much when I have blunt edge and it's a switch axe. Just talking to the cat for the last time, you know, while I could. That was a pretty grim farewell. Yep. <laughs> and then I got a burnt offering mission, uh, a J hunted Jay Leno and a Nick Nactor. So yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think them sacrificing people to the mountain gods is gonna gonna make the monsters stop killing, not killing, but do things. But they can try. I don't think it'll work. Um, I think the only of the monsters that eats me is Ignactor, and 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 he prefers his Renaplos. And God bless you for you know thinning the Renaplos <laughs> population. But I'm gonna have to put you down. And too many stray lasers. You know, people are complaining about their houses being burnt in half. Ugh. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to do this. You know the say what? What you say about a dog who bites a person? One's bitten. Uh, I, I do. I do appreciate that they gave me free poison knives. It's always nice to have some free poison. Exactly, and uh, and and Ergan is where he always is, and. And he gets painted. There we go. Now, Although, you're not exactly forcing Uragon to ingest those knives. Maybe they should be toxic knives. Or venomous knives. I, I'm not sure what... Oh, the, uh, there's a technical difference between venom and poison. Poison is ingested, but venom is injected. Oh, okay. You can actually, yeah, you can actually drink venom and not be the worst for wear for it. Right, if yeah, I'm because correct. venom has to be in the bloodstream, I'm assuming. Yeah. Whereas poison yeah. just needs to. Well, that's not entirely true. There are poisons that just need skin contact. Ooh, yeah. Well, like arsenic. Main... Skin contact? Yeah, yeah, there's a good chance you're poisoned. Depending on the concentration. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't call myself an expert on the, no. uh, um, on the subject. It's, yeah. it's more of a random tidbit. Also, I... guess who's also here now? Yeah. It's our fiery fish friend. Yeah, and Ergon didn't want to be here any longer, so cool. Fiery yes. magma laser uh, fish lizard. Another unfortunate thing about this armor is it's a little weak to fire, I, I believe. I'm not 
I think it's mainly just with the dragon, but it's got a minor weakness to fire somewhere, I believe. Or it's yeah. neutral. Not sure. It's weak to arsenic. <laughs> well, everything is. <laughs> yeah, because there, there was a whole thing where, like, the KGB agents would have uh, umbrellas with arsenic uh, laced uh, knife tips on their umbrellas, and they'd walk by the person that they're supposed to assassinate, poke them with the tip of the blade, and inject arsenic into their body, and that would kill them. Like, <laughs> like hours and hours later, they die of arsenic poisoning. At, in their own home and they you know nobody suspected because you didn't just kill them on the street so yeah you know they actually did stuff like that so um, I don't think it's entirely you know true like it, it doesn't entirely hold to that uh, but it's a good general thumbs up rule yeah rule of thumb yeah. That's that's what I was looking for. Um I, I almost wanna look it up, but um I then I'd have to make clicky noises and look away from the video and <laughs> Yeah. And and I hate being that guy that does that during a video I'm doing commentary on. So I'll usually save it till after the the video. Problem is Um, this is the last video to do commentary on all. Oh. Then, then after this video, it's it should be daily updates if I can keep up with it and remember. <laughs> if and, you can muster up the motivation. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dragon's Dogma might be overriding some of my motivation, and if it does, I'll probably just post, you know, multiple videos for the one for the days I missed. You have mythical creatures to climb on and maybe set on fire. Yeah, and. Uh, and people to throw over balconies because I can do that. You just grab them and swing them out over a balcony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did not know about the brine when I first started playing that. And uh, the first thing I did that I, I thought was funny for some reason was I, I picked up the uh, love interest of the starting village and carried her over to the, the shore and just tossed her in. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> At the very start of the game, the love interest was dead. Oh and, no! Uh, yeah, that, that was it. <laughs> oh. It's nice that they give you that kind of freedom, though. Yeah. It, it, I, I like that. You don't see that very much in these in these days with games. It's usually scripted and by the book. And the way I customized my dude was I made him look like a big, fat, confused goon. So it just made it even funnier. <laughs> What do you do with women? <laughs> what do you do with the pretty ladies? <laughs> Did he have a ne neck beard? Tell me, how big was his neck beard? I don't remember if I gave him a beard or not. Oh. I don't know. I hope I did. If you didn't give him a neck beard, that's a poor choice. <laughs> uh, and and a, like an actor is... Uh, he just wants to interfere with everything I'm doing. But Ergon will have none of that. Yeah, Ergon's just like, get back in the lava. Get out of here. And the actor's like, fine. Well, you know what? If you're going to be that way, I thought we had a thing going, a relationship. But no. Look, if you can't share the hunter, then I'm leaving. And I'm taking my fire lasers with me. Uh, soon, soon, Agnactor's going to take the volcano for, for himself. And you're going to be all alone, Ergon. You're gonna be outside the volcano be... with a restraining order. You're gonna be just like that fat guy who threw his love interest into the water. Well, with no. deadly, deadly water. Well, no, because your love interest didn't sue you and keep the volcano. <laughs> Can't sue people if you're dead. Precisely. Uh, I, if I had a hammer, I could so abuse that, but I don't. Oh. I'm so sad you can't do that in three ultimate. Do what? The super, uh, the super pound is, well, Ergon's super pound is too big for you to be able to get in in time. Um, well, depends if you're wearing a uh, quick resistance. Tremor resistance. Yeah, if you got if you got tremor resistance, you're you're good to go. But uh, you could totally do that in try without tremor resistance. <laughs> 
but you know, it just makes tremor resistance a more important armor skill to have. And you know, in some ways, I actually kind of like that. Yeah, it makes, give it purpose. I can see that. Yeah, you know, it's kind of dumb to have armor skills that goes like, well, you know, you could negate wind press, but. Um, ninety percent of the monsters don't have wind press, and the couple monsters that do have wind press barely even does it. So you know, there's no point in it, really. <laughs> you know, make it so wind press is important on a few monsters that you know that they're about a valid tactic to have on armor set. Kind of like antiseptic in three U. Yes, it's like I, oh. antiseptic. Antiseptic <laughs> is actually decent now instead of just being like. Oh no, I'm poop, what will I do? Now it's like, <laughs> oh god, I'm slimed, if you touch me one more time, I'm dead. What's this? You don't want to be slimed? You're antiseptic. It's, it's pretty nice. That's why I like my uh, Steel Organ armor. Steel Organ armor is really great. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm totally enjoying it, and it makes me happy. I should probably make that G set too. The steel organ. I haven't. Yeah. Oh, you know what the worst part about the steel organ armor is? It's it's slim organ armor. Organ's been on a diet. Oh. Yeah. No, it's like it's like really skinny armor. Considering like the regular organ armor, super bulky, makes you look, it look like you're wearing a Batman suit. I prefer giant robot suit. Yeah, but, uh, but, but this is like, I guess this uh, robot suit has been on a diet. More, um, more, it has more mobility, more uh, dynamic in, in its design, I guess. I, I'm trying to more, spin on this. It's It's been ingesting more fuel-efficient oils. Uh -huh. nice. <laughs> is it also a, a hybrid? Maybe. Hmm. Well, it is fairly resistant to electricity. Oh, maybe that's because it uses the electricity it, awesome. uh, it absorbs. Hmm. Oh, no. I will say, say, though, my main big problem with this Urgan fight is... Um, is I'm trying to go for the tail. I'm trying to go for a tail cut. I should just be attacking the legs and top them over here. In reality, that's what I should be doing, but you know, it's like, I'm so caught up in, I've got a switch axe again, I can chop tails off, yes! <laughs> uh, so, so I focus entirely too much on the tail, that's one of my problems. That's what I do. Yeah, it's really tempting to always chop tails off, even though they don't give you anything you want, or you're, you don't need anything from it. Right. One or the other. It's... It's just the principle of it. The tail's it's there. Still, it can... It's very much a satisfying thing to do. With Ergon, honestly, the tail cut doesn't do that much of a difference for you. It'll stop him from tossing rocks at you. But that's not really that much of a problem. No. Oh, no, he's sleep for it. Oh. Uh, I pushed the button one too many times. And he's just gonna stand there drooling. <laughs> just, just stand there all day. Panabra, help me! Help me! No, Panabra! Panabra, you're so oh, useless. But luckily, I, I didn't. I didn't get kicked out of my trap. And he's still drooling, so perfect. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, Panabra. Oh, now you try helping. Yeah. Oh. Big help you were. Oh, but but. Boing. Boing. Well, it isn't the overhead smash <laughs> swing, so it does a lot of damage, even if it's bound. Yeah. Uh, on top Quite of that, you know, I, I I am ruining my weapon, sure, but I'm also pumping out as much damage as I can in there. Oh, I could just I can almost taste that tail cut. So close. So close gonna happen uh, you know what the best part about this uh, this fight is this is a water weapon and it has a power file oh. <laughs> granted though the power file is probably less effective than an elemental file on Urgan himself 
but you're getting the best of both worlds here. You're getting some of that decent excellente water damage. I know. And well, with the um, even even though it's unupgraded, you're still getting a lot of uh, raw damage. Mm -hmm. And it's being buffed. I know. It's just not so. It's not so hot on uh, Ergan because he has so much resistance to physical, anyways. Oh, and there it is. He cut his butt off. Yes, I cut. I, oh, I love cutting his butt off. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, I, I feel so much better now. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's like a burden has been lifted off my shoulders now that I've cut that tail off. And Chacha wants to celebrate with fireworks. Yeah, so does Ergan. But those those are bad fireworks. We want Chacha fireworks. I know, I, I want his fireworks, but it's not always I can have it. Uh, so... Anyway, I'm kind of curious about Dragon's Dawn. Like, I haven't really looked much into it other than I bought it, I heard about it, and I was like, what's Dragon's Dogma? And then people, I think it was um, back when I was st still only doing Freedom Unite videos when, mm -hmm. when it just came out. And then people told me about Dragon's Dogma. Um... And then I looked into it, and then I ordered it and bought it, and it's just been sitting there ever since. <laughs> and I wanted to play it, but it's like, if I played it, bad things would happen. And, oh, I, I would. Forget. And you don't want bad things to happen. Yeah, no, I just completely forget to record Let's Play stuff. And oh, yeah, bad. I, that's why I'm saying bad things will happen. I. I can get absorbed in the video, and yeah. then people don't see me for a while. <laughs> no, uh, definitely to ask about Dragon's Dogma stuff, you'll want to ask Steam Shovel for sure. I, I, was gonna, I was gonna ask about what kind of starting classes are there. I know there's a mage, and then there's probably a, a stabby sword person. Yeah, there's there's like a warrior, there's, also, a, there's also, a mage. Chacha -cha killed him. Cha Cha is a kill stealer. Yeah. Uh, you get. That's it. I seem to recall recall a thief class. Okay. Possibly um, archer based. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember much else though because I didn't really get much further than uh, the, the beginning. The beginning, yeah. I'm I'm thinking, is it like something you choose in the very beginning, or is it just something you, as you're playing the game, you sort of customize yourself in that direction? You choose what you start with, but it's definitely more focused on customization. Ah, okay, so what? Like, you can change classes at any time. Oh, okay, that's handy, because then I can, you know, try a little of column A and a little column B when I want to start playing it. So I don't have I think... to make new save game files, even though it might be better just to, like, focus on one thing and dick around with an entire new class type on a different save file. Um, I vaguely remember being able to give yourself a secondary class, but, you know, don't quote me on that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, it was, uh, it, it's an interesting system, right? The, I don't know, the gameplay didn't really catch me. Mm -hmm. Um, what's it called? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the, that kind of gameplay because it reminds me a lot of, like, Capcom's essentially it's like Capcom's answer to something like Dark Souls because when it's nighttime it's nighttime and things come out and want to kill you and want to kill yeah. you so bad if you go into a big dark forest it's dark and, and things want to kill you in that forest so it's like mm -hmm. the game is you know while it's probably not Dark Soul levels of Dark Souls it still wants to kill you. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm all up for that. And whenever I reach, like, the expansion content of it, because, like, I, I just got the original edition of the game. I'll eventually yeah. get to going on to the, the DLC expansion content. I don't know if it's, like, you can get downloadable version of it, or, or if I actually do have to buy, like, 
disc for it, which has the original game in itself on it, and I could just transfer saves. Yeah, I honestly couldn't tell you there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but when I get to it, I actually, from what I've heard about the dungeons that they have in that, I'm actually kind of interested because uh, from what I've heard, essentially they try to do like a Diablo 1-esque type thing. You have like the town on the, the top layer, and then you have like a dungeon, and then you go deeper and deeper and deeper in the dungeon. And as you get deeper, the uh, harder it gets and all that good stuff. So, if they actually did something like that, I kind of do, I, I kind of like that. I wanna, but, let's wait and see uh, until I've actually, like, played the game and won the actual single player, not single player, but the actual, you know, um, non-expansion con content. It's gotten a taste of the actual gameplay structure. Exactly. Plus, you know, the the actual expansion content, from what I understand, is like, you gotta be near endgame content type gear. And then you get that extra layer of, it gets harder from that point on when you do the expansion content. At least that's what I've been hearing. Mm hmm So, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. I, I kind of want to play it right now once we're done with commentary, but <laughs> I should probably play East Ridgens finished. I, I, sh I should probably do that. These games are never very big anyways. So I, I have fun with them. Yeah, I'm torn between popping in Borderlands 2 to play with the Psycho, or, or, or maybe I could finish up my, you know, Metal Gear Rising DLC... Or I could play more Monster Hunter. <laughs> I know that feeling. That's Unfortunately, right now, be. the options of games that I really want to play are fairly limited. Yeah. Um, like, mm. I really want to play Dragon's Dog. I've been holding off on that for obvious reasons that I've explained a million times. Um, yeah. I've been playing the Yeast games because, I mean, I have them on my Steam list and I should get around to finishing them. No, I have fun with them, so that's not the problem. Um, I also want to do more Monster Hunter stuff, but I'd, I'd rather be running with you guys, Paper Lion, whoever, you know, people, yeah. instead of just being there all by yeah. myself and, well, puppies. And, oh, look, that puppy's off mining in the corner instead of... Uh, <laughs> every time I play with puppies, I get frustrated, and I remember why I don't play with puppies. No offense to people out there who are listening to me going like, oh, I'm a puppy. Why, oh, stop calling me a puppy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Even not not oh, all puppies. In fact, I'm a puppy if I go into a game. <laughs> it's just I'm not a puppy. I have three friends with me who are on Skype and then a random person joins. And immediately puts up their own quest. Yeah. And then gets angry when you don't join it. Or if you're in the middle of a quest and they join, hop in, and they're like, "Hi," and you don't answer them because you're busy fighting, mm -hmm. and, and then they immediately leave because you're not immediately leaving your quest, and they're not patient enough to wait. So, uh, I, I don't know. Like, if I gotta play with puppies, I prefer to be the one joining other people's games as the puppy because. At least then I know I'll behave. Yeah, that's that's a good way to see it. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, I don't like being the one who sets up a room and waits for people to join me because then I, I, I feel like I'm responsible for everything. And then when th people do stupid stuff, then I'm responsible for that they did stupid stuff. And it, it, uh... Uh, <laughs> it's these stupid puppies doing stupid things. Again, not everybody. So, you know, if anybody takes offense, sorry. I'm not trying to be. I am. <laughs> well, I'm only trying to be mean to those like those one or two specific individuals that I have bad experiences with that always somehow seem to find me. 
<laughs> uh. but yeah, no. The one thing I really... The one thing I really want to play, which I will drop everything else that I'm doing to play. And I know it doesn't come as a shock or surprise to anyone. Final Fantasy XIV Beta Phase 3. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that comes as a shock to no one. <laughs> I will drop everything to play that right now. Uh, at the moment, it's like two weeks until Beta Phase 3, so... So, so yeah, I, I gotta wait a while. Gotta wait a while. Uh. And, and, mm. and I know, technically, I'm not supposed to say I'm in the beta, but let's be honest, I have... I have a legacy status on my account, so I have beta no matter what, so... It's like... And legacy status is essentially just having paid for the game subscription when they were running subscriptions near the end before they took the servers down. Oh, okay. So that's essentially all it is, so... There's a lot of people in beta, essentially. Because they ran for like one and a half years with no subscription because, you know, the game was not in an acceptable state to where they could run a subscription. And then like at the end, they it was at an acceptable, acceptable point to where they could run a subscription. And it was more just to sort of support the game that you did that. And then they gave you a couple perks, which was like beta access and all that good stuff. So... Anybody who has a legacy campaign is like, you know, I got access to beta. I'm just not going to talk about beta because of NDA music. So just, I could just. Yeah. I'm still not supposed to say I'm in beta, but again, it's just kind of one of those retarded things. It's like, well, everybody know, knows I'm in the beta because I have the legacy status. Hmm. Oh, but now they're going to find you and take it away. Nope, because beta phase oh. three, NDA gets lifted. Fuck you. <laughs> well, partially. There's a lot of things you can talk about, but there's probably a couple things you're not allowed to talk about yet, like content that's unfinished yet. So oh, I, I gotcha. But you can probably talk about the mechanics that you're in beta and other things like that. What's uh, what's NDA short for anyway? Non discussion agreement. Oh, non disclosure agreement. Yep. Not allowed to talk about anything, essentially. Yeah. Oh, it's what the government gives people so they can't talk about things, and yeah, all those conspiracy theories, no. <laughs> it's the thing that, it, it's the horrible thing that video game companies do to, to their workers, put non-disclosure agreements on everybody, because they're afraid of any information leaking about their game to other rival companies, so if they just accidentally let one word slip, they get fired. Also, yes. they can't talk about their horrible work environments because NDA. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty good way to get around yeah. it, treating your workers like shit, but they're not allowed to talk about it because NDA. So they can break all kinds of rules, but there's nobody, nobody can prove it, and even if you can prove it, you broke the NDA, so any... Any arguments that you have to the jury is invalidated by you broke the NDA. That's really shitty, actually. Yeah. I feel sorry for the industry. They, they should be cut a little bit more slack. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, let them go home after work. That it'd be really nice. <laughs> You know, yeah. or, or the people who are do quality assurance testing on their games. Give them more than a tiny room, cramped room with no air conditioning. That that'd be, nice. you know. I mean, you don't need to have inhuman conditions. Is all I'm saying. Big companies don't care. Uh, Which is unfortunate. It is. I feel sorry for the people and and. You know what? Uh, I um, I honor your sacrifices. That you I will play your games and I will enjoy them. Well, maybe not. Never. I, I won't enjoy that, but that's just because it'll. Work. But I'll be honest <laughs> in saying that I'm not enjoying it because of my biases. <laughs> 
at least I'm not trying to pretend I'm, I'm better than everybody else because I'm some reviewer. Also, faint. <laughs> uh, I heroic dive when I shouldn't have. Never heroic dive when he does that because you're going to get caught by the next attack. Yep. Uh, them's bad times to belly but, flop. But that doesn't really matter because I, I noticed that I can capture him. I hate not having capture Guru and never seeing them limp. But, Drink yeah, uh, get rid of him and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll win. He KOs me and I KO him. Ha! Trading hits. <laughs> But yeah, no. In general, with games, I do try to keep it open. I mean, even if I don't like a game because of insert millions of reasons why I don't like a game, I can still like say, well, I do understand this and this and this. So it's just me that doesn't like the game, and it's not that. Like I take into account that maybe it's uh, two guys in a, a in a basement ma that made this game, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Or, or something like that. Or it's just this really little small company and they don't really have a huge budget. Or I take into into consideration like there were massive problems with the game, like under its development. And that's the reason why it's like this. Sure, is it acceptable or is it good? No, yes, maybe. Depends on the game and the, the circumstances and what the developers are doing to fix that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I do try to keep all that into consideration, but in my opinion, I, I just tend to keep it like, do I personally like this game? Yes, no, maybe. And I'm not going to try to like go like, oh, you, everybody should hate this game because because I don't personally like it. You know, everybody likes different things and everybody is free to their own opinion. Just because I well don't like, said. just because I don't like farming simulators from the shovelware company, doesn't mean other people don't. There's apparently a market for it out there somewhere, so I respect that. Right. But the train shovel shovelware simulators baffles <laughs> me that they they make so much money on it and it exists, but it's out there, and it make apparently makes really good money. So. uh... Now that I've done all the missions, there's not really anything left for uh, Ghost Lady to do here in single player. So I'm uh, just taking a look at some of the little achievement things that I've gotten. And uh, I took a look at the mission list, showed it off. Everything was completed when I showed it. Yeah. Just letting people read the little achievement things that I've gotten. This is, uh, this is the last time they're going to be seeing Ghost Lady. Her and her creepy eyes will never disturb you any longer. Or any <laughs> I are good at English. Grammar are my strong suit. I is most goodest at talking for online internet video. Exactly. Ah, uh, I got my little bobblehead guildies, but I guess... I'll see you all in the multiplayer videos. Goodbye.